Oh, yeah. Welcome to the Magical Magician. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. So I'm going to tell you today how to do candle magic and candle work. Let's get on Tender. Okay, so what we do is when you have candle work, uh, each candle can mean different things. So a brown one is basically for knowledge. Okay, so how to properly dress your candle is you want to get some kind of Florida water, oil water. But this candle has uh, been already cleaned and it's been already blessed. The only thing that I'm going to do to show y'all how to properly dress a candle is I'm going to use some orange water. Okay, you can also use Florida water. I don't want to do it because it's already been done. So what you do is you pour it, you will pour it, and you will wipe it down with this candle. Okay, and then if you have any kind of oils, as far as let's say like I want to do a money, uh, money ritual, what I would do is I would take the oil, money oil. And I will pour it into the candle like this. One, two, three. Three drops, okay? That's how you dress a candle, all right? Uh, if you wanted to use money or, like, love. So what I did was I used a money oil and I also using a come-to-me oil because we want the come-to-me. We want the money to come to me. So I'm going to use the come-to-me oil and I'm going to do it in a brown candle because the brown candle is for knowledge. So I want to always be able to have the the knowledge of money on how to make money and the knowledge on how to create manifestation on what it is as far as love and positive attraction. So that is how you will properly dress the candle. And we are going to make sure that this is properly centered in the center. Also, when buying a candle... You want to look at its wick at the bottom to make sure that the wick is centered. You don't want the wick to be over here, over here. And when you're buying a candle, you want to make sure that it's properly clean, okay, that it's been properly dressed and that it has no cracks, okay? You want to check the candles and make sure it has no cracks or anything in that. So these are just basically Candle Magic 101 to teach you how we go about utilizing our candle magic. And we I always say when we let Pale Babas the team wanna come respect the Ashe Pache Basso Passe in honor of the ancestors of my ancestors and there you go. So that is how you properly The autumn wind is a pirate address. That is how you probably would address, uh would dress a candle. And as you see the orbit and its flare, okay, so it's been received and it's sending off its messages. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Candle Magic 101. I bo bo.